you have to have a dialogue with your conscience so that it isn't a tyrant or, or a pushover, right? But your conscience can tell you where there are things in your life that aren't going well, and you can use those as motivation to change. For example, when I decided to start stop drinking when I was 27 or thereabouts, part of the reason for that, there were two reasons. One was a calling reason, one was a conscience reason. The conscience reason was I looked at my life and I thought, well, when do I do things I regret when I'm drinking? Well, do you want to ha have a life characterized by regret as you start climbing up the professional ladder and the consequences become more and more dire? And it's just like, well, do I want that? Or do, would I rather have a life where I wasn't doing stupid things that I regretted? Now, and that's, that's very true for people who drink, period. Most, a tremendous amount of stupidity is alcohol fueled. So that was the conscience end. The calling end was, I couldn't write when I was hungover. Yeah, it was that's impossible. I couldn't make quality. I wasn't operating at peak efficiency. And maybe that's fine if, if you don't care. But I, one of the things that really motivated me and that's continued to motivate me ever since is I'm very curious about how much I can do in the shortest possible period of time. That's fun. And so if anything gets in the way, it's like, well, it's got to go. That's sacrifice. That's the sacrifice that pleases God to dispense with the lesser, to facilitate movement towards the greater.